Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Obosha and welcome to the Slay Squad. Uh, today is a very cold Thursday morning and I have an appointment to finally get my hair done and I thought um, I'd take you guys along with me-ish. So under here, I still have these twists that I've had in here for days. And for like the first time ever, I'm going to go get okay not first time but like in a really really long time because i usually just prefer to wash my hair at home and do a deep condition one it will save my money two i feel like i usually personally know how to care for my hair best like i know what works for it and i feel like you go to the salon and they're just pulling everything everywhere and i really don't like braiding my hair as it is so if you're going to pull me in the beginning i just don't want it i don't i don't want it <laughs> so Today I was lazy, or rather I had a lot of work to do, plus I was lazy, so I didn't um, condition my hair in the house. I'm going to get it done at the salon. I'm going to Spritz Hair Studio, so I've carried my, my mask. I was like, if I'm going to change and get it done at the salon, at least I'm going to have my same deep treatment mask that i'm used to using and what i'm getting done on my hair is um not less um ombre braids i got sent this hair by an instagram store called sherry let me check it let me let me just confirm so that i don't give you guys the wrong name it's called rainy underscore sherry like rain voa rainy underscore sherry and these are the braids that i chose to use so as you can see they start out black and then they go into a really really dark um blue bluish color and then they move to a lighter blue and finally they become white so i'm really excited for some new color in my hair and inside the packaging that they sent me they had lashes and these are individual lashes this is how they look like let me open to show you so they told me that they usually have a lady who um they can recommend to help you install this if you're if you'd like so this is how they look on the inside so if you can see there's numbers here so there's like number eight two is 15 number 8 to 15 so number 8 are the shortest ones and then they go becoming longer and longer and longer so i have done individual lashes before but i didn't have my own pack what i did is i just went to the salon i went to marie she's a uh, really like literally the sweetest um lady she's from a french speaking african country and she always has lingala like booming in her salon and you hear her like singing those french lingala songs <laughs> it's really it's such a mood so her salon is called um Marilyn beauty or i think that's the instagram page but i will have it linked in the description bar Marilyn charges 2000 bob for eyelash extensions which i really do not think you'll get a cheaper place than there so um this time if i have my own lashes i don't even know <laughs> if she'd charge me less so i want to find a person who will only charge me the service because i already have the lashes makes sense yeah so the only downside of these lashes when i put them is i get bored of them quickly because i feel like i usually can't wash my face as carelessly as i do like i usually just like to get in there and do wah. but when you have this you have to be a bit more careful so in case you're not um familiar with these individual lashes this is not like a whole strip it's one one so like that's it's like a strip of tape in there and then one one lash at a time has been stuck in there so when they're being installed your eye they actually put masking tape on your bottom lashes so that they don't get caught in the glue and then your eye remains closed like this and then they put small dabs of glue on the lash and they put it on your lash length it's really close and it usually looks like you're not wearing any um false lashes of course depending on the length that you go with and they last for about let's say two to four weeks 
depending on how you care for them the first time i did them i was going on holiday and they lasted with me swimming every single day they lasted three weeks which was really really nice yeah so when i get this done maybe even within this vlog if i can find someone who can do it we can go get them done and you guys can see how they look i think i'll go for about a number 11 naturally look yeah so i've talked for forever <laughs> i have my things ready now let's go to the salon this process for you guys will probably be like two minutes but for me the entire day <laughs> so let's get this started the next day let me close this door because it's bringing an echo um this is how the hair came out i'm in love with it because you know the last time i did not less braids they weren't this full so it looks like it looked like they had gaps in them last time i think i used four packs this time i used five packets this is how the color looks like it's like the black and then this bluish teal-ish color and then it moves to a pastel blue it looks grayish almost whitish on the camera but it's a uh, really really that's how it looks like that's the best way i can show it um labor was three thousand and yeah labor was three thousand um the treatment was fifteen hundred and let me tell you guys like I mentioned before, I'm usually not a big fan of doing that whole process in the salon, but guys, I think I was spoiled. <laughs> and now I don't know how I'll go back to doing this in the house because at first, I'm usually most worried about detangling and the heat. So when I got to the salon, the, the lady who washes, she immediately just put me in water and I was like, oh God, oh God. Is this hair going to detangle and then she put a detangler in first probably just a conditioner and then detangled my hair before she started washing and i don't even know what conditioner she used but then my tangles melted everything like i could just feel the comb passing through and i was like what i've not combed this hair in a week <laughs> I was so surprised and then after she put in my treatment she gave me a, a neck massage and you guys know you, you all know how i feel about this massage she actually massaged me twice before i went into the steamer and after i went into the steamer so i really liked that another special thing that happened is that before um she blow dried my hair because i straightened it just a bit for braiding she used a leave-in conditioner and a heat protectant let me tell you something you all know if you go to your local salon and they use a leave-in treatment on your hair first of all they can't use it without asking you because it's an extra charge so like this one i've already paid for my treatment like i, I had come with my own treatment that i was using and then she still before blow drying used the leave-in and the heat protectant on my hair which i really appreciated and i'm sure my hair appreciated um the lady who braided my hair is called sheila she's very gentle you can see my hair is literally painless and she's also really careful around your edges so that is a plus outfit of the day okay i'll have to remove the camera from the stand to show you but for what you can see this is like a top what, what can i call this like an ankara kimono ish it used to have long sleeves and then zilini show zilini show nikate and i really regret cutting them and then this is a necklace from bosch drip it's a two-piece set so when you buy it it comes this and there's another one that's like a dragon um the bodysuit is from toy i'm wearing white jeans from toy a brown belt from toy and shoes are from mr price i'll show you guys those in a few and then this is the handbag that i am carrying it's the new bosch drip bag i really like this bag the first time i thought it opens from here but it actually opens from here and then it has a strap as well so you know how in bags they normally have these hooks here to hook on your bags they're not usually very aesthetically pleasing so with this one the the things are inside here so you take 
you hook in here. So then when it closes, it looks something like that. See, it's a bit more hidden. And then this, you just put it in and you can have a crossbody bag. I really, really like the handbag. It's a Friday, you never know where. <laughs> Friday is my lead. So I want to carry a cute bag with me. Yeah, that's it. Um, I have a really exciting meeting today for a project that you guys will probably see sometime towards the end of November. I'm really excited for that and to share it with you guys when the time comes. So yeah, let me head out before I get lit and let me show you the bottom half of my outfit. <laughs> yeah, so the belt and the shoes and the pants and that is it. I will see you guys when I come back home. Hey guys, um, I promise I can explain. Today is Friday, 30th October. So the last time I picked up the camera was literally a week ago and so many things happened. I remember when I was ending that vlog, I said, or rather ending the day's vlog, I was like, oh, it's Friday, you never know where you'll be. Girl, <laughs> I was taking stock pictures uh, and editing them until 3 a.m. in the morning. Then Saturday, I had decided I'll go and do a review of the social house for you guys. Comment down below if you guys still would like a review of the social house. But then, by the end of the day, Yanni, I don't, I don't know how I was feeling. I was just feeling like I, I wasn't, Yanni, it's like I just had a whole creative block and I felt like if I did it, it would look forced. And then what happened the rest of the days? Well, I think I've mentioned here that there's a project um, we're working on and I can't really vlog it. So now I have these days where fairly exciting things are happening, but I can't share them yet. <laughs> so that's where I've been. Oh, and then yesterday, I was supposed to vlog, not yesterday, Wednesday, I was supposed to vlog on Wednesday. And then, um, I got a slight infection so i wasn't able to do that so thursday was for recovery and then here we are on friday i told you i can explain <laughs> uh, so today what i want to do is i decided since the rest of the vlog already we did the hair still doing well and everything why not just make it a whole beauty vlog so please when we're going to do these individual lashes i told you guys we'll be going to marilyn beauty or marilyn sure how you pronounce it it will be in the description box she said if you come with your own lashes and it's a thousand bob with their own lashes it's two thousand honestly you can search everywhere i don't think you'll get prices cheaper than this so if you're starting off with lashes i definitely recommend this place because the quality of work for the price that you're paying Trust me, it's, it cannot be matched because doing lashes can get expensive, like up to 5k expensive. So yeah, um, what else? Um, in the kitchen, because I was about to make breakfast, let me show you guys something. So I'm about to make samosas and I bought these. So this is like one pack of them. It's written 10 pieces with samosas with chili. So these ones are 10, but um, the deal, sorry, not really the deal, but like how they come, it's 30 of them for, is it 2000? It comes to about 33.3 bob per samosa. And you guys, these samosas are huge. Like, see? My face with the samosa, this is how the samosas look like and they come like to two of them wrapped in the foil um there was one defrosting in the microwave because i forgot to put it out and i'm really craving one so i'm trying to defrost it and then make it and then we can head on and get the slashes done my tripod is a bit broken so i hope I can find someone at the salon who can help me get just a few shots of the lashes being done that you guys can see. It's a really odd process if you've never seen it being done. <laughs> hey, about that time when <laughs> you place the food in the oil and then you run away. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, 
that, that wasn't bad. Okay. Definitely overreacted. <laughs> okay so here we are it's the valley arcade mini mall this is how it looks like from inside the car and her shop is actually that one right there But how cute! Watch any toy mask. Do you vizuri? Look at this. Wait, will it focus? It looks so natural. Can I? Can you see? I don't know if you could see anything, but like, look. How do I? Yeah. I love it. I love it so much. So we used the number 11. Yeah, we used number 11. It has two rows of each number. So we used a full one of number 11 and a bit more. Um, these lashes are by Radiance Beauty and they are from the same people who sent over these braids. And yeah, I made a mistake. It's not a thousand bob, it's 1500 if you come with your own lashes, 2000 bob with their lashes. Like, yeah. Let me tell you, I'm about to now wake up looking like my makeup is done. done. I mean, brows, lashes. I really like it. I really, really do. So yeah, um, I guess I'll keep them on for as long as I can so that I can tell you guys how long they last. I'm giving it about two to three weeks. They should be falling out. So what you can do is you can go back, get them removed or um, you go back with this because I still have like this number 11 here. And then they just fill in the ones that have come out. But yeah, I, I really like this length and... The density like how much we've put in there i think I, I need to not wet my face for a couple of hours just so that the glue can set nicely we'll be done so yeah, up next we're going to fix this mess of nails that i have going on on here every single time that i come on youtube and go like oh my god you guys look at how cute my nails are they've grown out so long wow wow the next week they all start breaking and it's because i'm really clumsy like this nail right here it broke when i was closing the window so i think i was too fast to close it so then instead of using my finger over here i used my nail tip and let me tell you the pain like there was a watchman who was directing me as i was packing and i just paused i was just like mm. she's like madame madame is like mm. i'm dying i'm dying i'm in so much pain so today i want to try and maybe do overlays I don't know because I always just go and put normal gel application. I want to see if I can do something different that will get me a bit more excited this time around. So yeah, maybe maybe overlays because acrylics, I don't know, like I said, I'm clumsy. I hurt myself so many times when my nails are long. So I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to foreigners as usual. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Guys, there's so much traffic. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit tickled because I'm from the fundi as usual getting clothes fitted and we're having such an interesting conversation. Do you remember how last time um he overcharged me? This time I was like Lazima ni lipiza Leo. Leo ndo na lipiza. <laughs> I've convinced him Hadi he's like hey in a car today you're broke. Just just okay, I'll take the hundred bob. <laughs> like yeah yeah Let, let's keep it like that please <laughs> and then um what else do i want to tell you guys the shop the isla shop that i'm from i've just remembered i was going to tell you guys that she's expanded um i remember last year when i was going to her shop for the first time it was just that one shop she wasn't even accepting card payments now she's expanded like she has 
two shops opposite each other she's ex- uh, accepting card payments the wig collections of the wigs that she's selling it's increased and i mean it's so beautiful do you guys ever look at someone who you don't really know but you've seen their journey and you just feel so proud of like where they've come from where they are going it made me feel so nice i was just like ah this is this is beautiful this is really really nice and then um another thing that i wanted to mention i have a song stuck in my head <laughs> the maserati song like literally i'll be there um washing makeup brushes happy my maserati happy my maserati driving happy my maserati eating happy my maserati it's insane <laughs> it's getting as bad as the jerusalem song anyways traffic is opening up so now see you when we're doing our nails for real for real this time <laughs> hey guys um back from the nail bar i couldn't really vlog there because half the time my nails were in foil we were trying to soak the gel off and then uh like basically my manicure and pedicure were being done at the same time so i couldn't really film and i filmed by myself there's no crew to go like you know following me around but i did show you guys how my nails came out I like them. The only thing is that I didn't think this color was pink. Like from the book where you select the colors, I thought it looked more nude like this. So I feel like I because I was video calling my brother and then I looked up and my nails were pink and I was like, "Oh god, it's so pink. It's so so pink." I thought it would be a bit more nude, but I'm really not mad at them. My favorite of course is the accent nail. I really like how it looks. It's like a pink glitter that gradates into a more gold glitter. I don't know if it would focus. But yeah, that's how it looks like. So what we did um, were overlays, and I also have to admit again that I didn't think this is what I was going to get. I just thought they'd like put like a layer of that gel over my nails and make them the same length. But the guy was like. Um, let's make them the same length as your nails usually are before they start breaking so um, If you're not new to my channel, you know my nails naturally just look like this but this like from only this part until here Is not my nail, but like how natural does it look like if you know me then you're going to just be like your nails look so cute and the funny thing is that i met a friend of mine who we were in strath with she was also there getting her nails done and she was like oh my god your nails look so nice they're, they're still so strong and natural i'm just like girl <laughs> they're not mine <laughs> uh, we also have a package that came in today um who i almost showed my phone number on here it's from Zia collection and it says Abosha Maxine you are magic so let's open it up and see what's in here it's a t-shirt so here's how it looks like oh it literally says you are magic this is cute and it's not is it hold on it's all it's a blue black i don't know if you can tell on camera but it's not this part is not entirely black it's like a blue black and it's just written you are magic this is cute basic white t-shirt is always a staple and then there's a new bosch drip dress i don't think you can tell how this looks like like this so let me wear it and then i'll be back hopefully it looks cute or this will be embarrassing <laughs> guys Ah, but guys, who am I? <laughs> Where do I think I'm going? Guys, look, check it dim. Wow, 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 wow. Hey, why, why? Do you guys, do you guys see the slit? I'm so far from my viewfinder. I can't even see that far. I hope you guys can see. Like, why, why? Wow. Yes! Look at that! 
loving clavicle. Wow. I mean, we really did the thing. The illest, the dopest drip store in the 254. Wow. Let me, let me, let me, let me move back again for you guys to see. You ready? You ready? Okay, okay, okay. Oof. 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 Oh. You know what? I love, I mean, love. You guys need to invite me for something. But whatever you're inviting me can't be too, you know, too posh enough. It's, one of, it's for one of those events that you want to stunt. But you can't overstand. You know, you just want to middle stand. This is what I'd wear that too. For you want to look like you're chilled. You didn't try too much, but lucky you tried. You know, I mean just look at the Nikama ni one shoulder, but see one shoulder. Nikama inaku inakunini inakunya. Wow. 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 I love it. I just I really do. I really really do it will be linked in the description but by the time you guys are watching it will probably be up on the website no I, I feel like i have a reason to do a photo shoot cheese <laughs> anyways guys thank you so much for watching today watching me get my eyelashes this is a closer look in case you hadn't let me look straight into the camera so that you guys can see clearly how they look like my nails this is how they came out and my hair this is a week later <laughs> but this is how the hair came out i put some let me do so that you guys can see i put some jewels from again the illest drip shop so i put this one this this one braid here guy okay, it's even stuck on the other hairs <laughs> but like it's supposed to be at the front of these others and then i put I can't even find them now that I'm looking for them. But I didn't put too many of them. I put one here. Here's another one flying away. Put the angel wing here. Anyways, yeah, I did all of that um, at some point this week. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm about to pack orders and call it a night. Until next time, always remember to work hard and have good intentions. Bye guys.